In my graphic novels, Strangers in Paradise and Rachel Rising, a key character is the country home of Francine's mother and Lilith, and it's a real house. If you walk up the front yard to the door, you're standing in the very spot where Lilith once stood and convinced the farmer who lived here to let her in. She was very charming, and then she turned him into a zombie. If you turn and see the porch swing where Francine and her mother sat and discussed life and love, and Francine had to deal with the fact that she learned her mother was once a 1960s pinup queen. Surprise! If you look out into the field, just to the side of the house, you see the spot where uh, Lilith and her sister Rachel we're sitting on this porch and looking out over that field and seeing Death herself walk across the field. Death in Rachel Rising was named Mamale. It was a grim discovery out there. If you turn to the right, that field is where Francine was walking back towards the house when she saw Casey with David and thought, is that Kachu, who she had not seen in a long time? And she began running across that field. If you look to the other side, on the other side of that fence is where Lilith told the farmer to go stand, and he stood there for three days until they dropped dead. The song we're listening to is Alexander Borodin's The Gliding Dance of the Maidens from his 1890 opera Prince Igor. It was grouped with something called the Polovetsian Dances. In 1953, this melody was adapted into the Broadway play Kismet and titled Stranger in Paradise. And then a lot of recording artists recorded that and I heard it as a little boy and thought it was a pretty song. So when I grew up to make my first graphic novel, I wanted to write about the Stranger in Paradise, the one who hung the star up there. This house has meant a lot to me and it always reminds me that without love, we're nothing more than strangers in paradise.